Harder Slot is a castle in the Netherlands, located at the mouth of the Vecht River, some 15 kilometers southeast of Amsterdam in Muiden, where it flows into what used to be the Zuiderzee. It is one of the better known castles in the Netherlands and featured in many television shows set in the Middle Ages. Muiden Slot is currently a national museum. The inside of the castle, its rooms and kitchens, was restored to look like they did in the 17th century, and several of the rooms now house a collection of arms and armor. This summer, I went there with Buffet, and they offered us two tours to take, the Knight's Tour and the Tower Tour, and I'm gonna show you what both tours were like. The name of the Flores Chamber is derived from Count Flores V, the architect of the Muiderslot. After his death, the castle was almost immediately destroyed. From 1370 onwards in, it was rebuilt, raised and expanded using the original foundation. It is thought that this chamber did not even exist in the days of Flores V. In 1784, this chamber was used officially as a prison. The prison was entered through a reinforced door that was built in the stair tower. The western tower is considered the oldest, the highest and the most crooked tower of the castle. Originally, the covered gallery was what is referred to as an open sentry walk, as if it had no roof, like the eastern tower at present. The stair tower has a right winding staircase, which favored the right-handed defending guards of the castle. In the Middle Ages, the western tower was the only entranceway to the southern tower, which was the Wachtor, watchtower, of the fortification. The different plans and maps show the Mouder slot through seven centuries in an ever-changing environment. The partially walled in vertical long wall posts, the wall beams served to reinforce the masonry. The thick walls were not designed to reinforce the beams, but the wall posts were supposed to prevent the walls from slanting. Unfortunately, this did not prove effective. Through the centuries, the degree to which the western tower leaned was so extreme that the tower of the whole wing was in danger of breaking off. Currently, a concrete corset in the moat keeps the structure from collapsing. The wall opposite the tower passage is the old firewall of the original building. The 19th century stepped gable of the large hall wing rests on this thick wall. At some locations the loft is kept uncovered and the ridge of the roof is visible. The 19th century structure illustrates what a traditional Dutch medieval wooden roof looked like. In the Middle Ages, the attic served as a storage area, to stow away extra household goods and weaponry. Additionally, the attic was often used as a space for drying laundry. The ladies' chamber, or kemenade, is a typical element of the 19th century castles. A combination of camera caminata, it is a room made of stone that includes a fireplace and is often used as the room for the ladies of the castle. Built in the 15th century, the sandstone supports of the fireplace, the struts with their simple sculptured faces were some of the earliest interior embellishments added to the castle. The interior staircase with the oak spiral stairs was built at the end of the 19th century and connects the ground floor to the other floors and the attic. The armory is located above the Knights Hall. Castles were often built with large halls which were later subdivided into small wooden rooms, ensuring that the large area remained intact. The archives of the Middle Ages refer to a guard attic at the Muiderslot. This area could well have been what was meant. In that case, this guard attic could also have been subdivided into separate cells in the Middle Ages as an opening for light 
was originally incorporated into each beam section. Some of these openings were closed off in the 19th century. This room in the northern tower was used as a bedroom by the keeper of the castle and his family until the 1960s. The hearth place indicates that it has always been a residential area. It is assumed that the remainders of a secret stone staircase are hidden to the left of the white doorpost in the room. In 1279, Floris founded his own knighthood, the sovereign knighthood of Saint Jacob in Holland, which the bronze plaque in this room is a relic. The enormous curved rafters, also referred to as crooked timber, form the basis for the roof structure of this area. Because of the curve, more of the space and surface area is usable. The curve was created by heating tree trunks or by simply forcing young trees to grow at an angle. The protruding beams, the put logs, can be extended outwards to create a temporary flying scaffolding. The roofed-in sentry walk is furnished as a barrack and has interactive dioramas. The roofed-in sentry walk received an entirely new roof when it was remodeled in the 19th century. Traces of the original roof can be seen on the walls at the head of the sentry walk. The old roof was lower and steeper than the current roof. The Herald, or King of Arms, was an important person in the Middle Ages. He was an expert in the field of heraldry. The banners on the wall show the arms of Floris V, Count of Holland and Zealand. The stone walls in this chamber date back to medieval times, around 1500. The narrow tapered recess in the southern wall served as a loophole for a hand cannon. The rounded wooden hatch can be opened to show the field of fire of the cannon which was aimed at the stone gap. The gate tower sentry walk lay at the core of the castle's defenses. The machicolation at the Muiderslot is unique in the Netherlands, both in terms of its scope and size. The large machicolations or murder halls are located at the front of the castle, immediately above the drawbridge. From this location, the enemy literally received a warm welcome. In the southwestern corner of the sentry walk, there is a fourth murder hole, which is hidden and was used to defend the entrance to the gate tower from the southern sentry walk, which dead ends. A conscious decision was made to have this sentry walk dead end at the southern tower, the Waaktore. The southern tower could only be reached via the spiral stairs of the western tower. In order to prevent the enemy from conquering the entire castle at once, a conscious choice was made to divide the sentry walks into sections. The battle meet windows, the large areas in between the raised wall sections, offer a majestic view of Muiden and the river Vecht. The loopholes were situated in the battlements themselves and provided shelter for the soldiers and protection during combat.
The high walls of this wall guards quarters are explained by the fact that this tower was originally used as a lookout point. The southern tower sentry walk had to be as difficult to approach as possible. The tower wall had a number of loopholes. The double spy hole at the left is unique. It provides a view of both the beginning and the end of the castle bridge. The connecting staircase is not original. This area could only be accessed via the courtyard. If the gate tower and castle yard were to be stormed and seized, the wall guards above would remain out of reach. The stairs in this room were built in what is referred to the historicizing style. The stairway dates back to 1999 and is a copy of the 19th century stairs in the area above. From 2006, the public has had access to almost 80% of the Muida slot in a manner which is unmistakably contemporary. The castle has undergone construction during different periods in its history, which have all left visible marks on the structure.